All right, today we're gonna to be reviewing the Ivanki Fusion Dock Pro One Plus. And uh, it's not actually in this box, but this is a great stand-in and it's a great box. So this video is gonna look a little different. I'm not gonna have a top-down view at all. I have a camera behind me that's gonna show you this whole monitor setup I have right here. It's a little skewed off the side. Sorry about that. This is the best I could do with my setup I have here, but it should give you a pretty good representation of some of the things that this dock can do. So the main thing powering this dock is this M2 MacBook Air. This is actually my wife's MacBook Air. And this is the base spec M2, not the M3. Natively, this MacBook only supports one external display, which is an unfortunate limit, especially for a nice MacBook. I mean, these things aren't super cheap. The M2s are a little bit cheaper now, but this is still a more premium laptop. And this dock really opens up its capabilities a lot. I uh, threw in my 11 inch iPad over here as an external display as well, just to show it as an option and that it doesn't interfere with you using an iPad as an external display at all with this other setup here. But this is something you could do with or without the dock. It's not necessarily a feature of this dock. It's just kind of confirmation that you can still use your iPad as an external display, even with two external displays and actually even with three external displays thanks to this dock. I would have a third actual external display here if I actually still had one. I got rid of my other 32 inch monitor here because I honestly only really use an iPad and it can only support one external display. So I moved to just one, but I do have this portable monitor here. And I felt that was good to show the capabilities. But yes, it can support a third one as well, and both of them up to 4K at 60 frames per second, which this is not pushing that limit. It's only 1080p monitor, so the dock can do much more than what it's doing right here, but it is still cool to see. This monitor is only a 2K as well, so again, not pushing the limit, but they are what I have to test with this MacBook. Something I wanna point out really quick too is that there is just one cord going to this MacBook, and that's it. This is charging the MacBook, and powering everything else, including two SSDs, one that requires power and a USB drive. It's also connected to these headphones. So that way you can keep the headphone jack on the MacBook itself free. It is also connected to ethernet thanks to this dock as you can see right here. And yeah, like previously mentioned, I got the iPhone 15 SSD here. I got Micah's Projects SSD here and Micah's Files right here. And thanks to the network, I can also access my NAS if I wanted to. All that stuff is thanks to the dock. And again, I still have another free USB-C port on this MacBook Air. I didn't have to use my MagSafe cord either. I can keep that in my bag or something with the MacBook so I can take it wherever I need to go. And this portable monitor actually has another USB-C port here as well. So I can expand, I can put another SSD on here. I'm still only using one of the three 10 gigabit per second USB-A ports on this device. I still have a free HDMI port as well, and I haven't used either of the SD card slots. I'm still getting a lot of functionality out of this dock. I'm not seeing any dock that works better with the MacBook Air. My dad actually uses the even bigger Ivanki dock for his MacBook Pro that uses two USB-C ports. And yeah, it does have a little bit more functionality from it, but not by a lot. And you can get almost everything you could need for the slightly lower price point of the Fusion Dock Pro One Plus. And it works with your MacBook Air and gives you more than one external display, which is a big deal. It does this by having its own display engine for the other two HDMI ports. Now you do have to install drivers for them, but it's really easy. I'm gonna show you that process right now. So you can just go to synaptics.com right here. I found it the easiest by just going to support and then display link support. And it's going to download display link drivers from the website and it takes you right back to the website, but right to the download page. All you need to do is hit the Mac OS download and install it onto your device. And then from settings, you just need to go to privacy and security, screen and system audio recording, and just make sure that display link manager is checked. Once it has permission to do this, it immediately activates the other two HDMI ports and they work just like any other external monitor. If you go into displays here, you even have control over the resolutions, the frame rates, the color profile, all the same features you get with any other external monitor. It's right here, you can arrange it, all of that stuff. It's not like you just get a mirrored version of something or anything like that. You have a full external monitor up to 4K 60 Hertz, which is 
probably more than what most people will even use it for. I think this is by far the best way to get a triple monitor set up for your MacBook Air. Quick note here, this is designed for Mac OS. So while some of these things might work for Windows as well, this is made for Mac OS and optimized for this operating system. And specifically Apple Silicon Macs, so M1 or later. So if you wanna turn your MacBook Air into a full desktop setup with multiple monitors, this is the best way to do it. And you can have as many SSDs and USB accessories all plugged in. You can have it charge other devices, all that stuff, all from this dock, ethernet, everything you'll need right there. There's honestly not a single thing that I think this dock is missing or that I need more of. And if you really need a beefier dock, Ivanki has you covered there too, and you can go up the next level. But I think for the majority of people, especially for MacBook Air users out there, this is the dock to get. This also works totally fine in clamshell mode with the MacBook shut here. And when you're ready to go, all you need to do, unplug and get out of here. And just because I'm an iPad guy myself, I figured I'd show the iPad connected to the dock as well. And it can use a lot of the features of this dock. The big thing you'll notice is the second and third monitor will not work. There's no iPadOS driver for display link. So at least as of recording this video, those two HDMI ports will not be supported. So basically whichever one you plugged in to HDMI one on the dock is gonna be the monitor you get for the iPad. Okay, so this is future Micah editing this video. And I just wanna let you know, I used the iPad with this dock a little bit longer. And after it charged it to 100% or whatever the limit was set at, it just stopped connecting to the monitor. And I don't exactly know why. So I don't know if it's because I'm on the beta versions of iPadOS or whatever. And this dock does not claim to be optimized for iPadOS. So it's at no fault to the dock or Ivanki or anything like that. I just wanna let you know, definitely don't buy this for your iPad Pro. Get this for your MacBook Air or something like that. And then you can give it a try with your iPad and see how that works too. Full disclosure, I was sent this dock from Ivanki. I didn't go out and buy it with my own money, but they're not paying me to say anything about their dock. And my dad had the bigger version of this long before they contacted me and he's been loving it. So I could personally attest that this is a reliable brand and what they promise is very cool to see in action, especially for all you MacBook Air users out there. I think it's a perfect solution to have multiple monitors. And now the M3 MacBook Air can kind of support two monitors, but only when it's in clamshell mode, and that's kind of lame. So this way you can still have your MacBook Air monitor itself and still three external monitors. That's pretty awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and comment below what you think of a dock like this and if you would use it. And of course, subscribe. Working on trying to get to 5,000 before the end of the summer. It's probably gonna turn into before the end of the fall, but we got around 20 days of summer left, so we can still make it, right? I mean, I think we can get 3,000 in 20 days. You know, even if it's in September, I'll, I'll allow that. I think it's close enough. So how about 5,000 for the end of the month? Let's do it. Call all your friends, tell them to subscribe, share this video. Anything you can do will help this channel grow and for me to make more quality content like this. And if you want to see more of the MacBook Air, let me know. I could even do a comparison between my M2 MacBook Air and my iPad Pro here. Anything like that, I am totally willing to do. It's my wife's MacBook, so I have pretty good access to it and would be totally willing to make any follow-up videos. If you want to get this doc for yourself, that's going to be linked in the description below. And if you want to see a more focused, desk setup video, let me know. Or if you wanna see how I use an iPad with an external monitor or a dock like this, let me know all of that in the comments below. And as always, have a great rest of your day.